The highest ranking members in both the House and the Senate on the Democratic side have now officially endorsed Kamala Harris as she also has garnered the delegate pledges necessary to officially be the nominee. I guess not officially until the convention, but by all conventional sorts, she's the nominee now. So I wanted to look at a few of the things that they had to say, not just about her, but about Trump as well, and to look into her history to speak on some of her qualifications. You know how um, you have pro athletes like a quarterback takes a team that's like four years ago not doing well and then now takes them to having a winning victory and says you know i'm going to retire next year doesn't mean that quarterback can't play this year and if you look at the record joe biden as the chairman said he's done amazing things for our country uh, but you know who is not fit donald trump he is the oldest person running for president ever he makes incoherent statements. He forgets people's names. He mixes people up. His cognitive decline is readily apparent. Donald Trump should pass the torch and withdraw from the race. This is exactly the way that it should be looked at. Joe Biden isn't saying he's not fit for office now. He's not even saying he's not fit to run for office. He's saying the next ship would be best steered by someone else. He's putting his ego to the side for the sake of the party that he sees better fit for the position of leading our country and in the mission of defeating Donald Trump and not letting him into that position. It's not all about his own self-interest or being power hungry the way that it is for Trump. I mean, at this point, Trump has to do this to escape prison. Trump would never do what Biden did He because he's not a patriot, he's not noble, and he doesn't want what's best for the country at all costs, even the cost of his own mission or attempt to get power. It's about him being a 78-year-old delusional criminal who just wants to be in power again. The vast majority of my senators quickly and enthusiastically endorsed her. So now that the process has played out from the grassroots bottom up, we are here today to throw our support behind Vice President Kamala Harris. And since announcing all of this, Kamala has smashed fundraising records from strictly grassroots support, garnering over $80 million in just 24 hours and close to $250 million total, showing that people are coming out in swaths to show support for her, with polling having her up against Trump with women voters, black voters, and 18 to 29 voters, this being before she's even really started campaigning, before she's even done a single public event or speech to announce the fact that she's running for president and to speak to her qualifications quickly because you're going to hear lots of racism and misogyny from the right claiming oh DEI and this that she was a DA for eight years she was an attorney general for eight years and was the junior senator from California for four years and now vice president in the most efficient administration of this generation for the last four years as a senator she championed gun control weed legalization health care and tax reform as well as being a ranking member on the Judiciary Committee just that questioned people that were in the indictments with Trump, that questioned the January 6th incident, and now has since sponsored five bills while being a senator, three that were bipartisan with other Republican senators. As Attorney General, she successfully prosecuted big banks and big corporations, Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, Costco, Phillips 66, Conoco, just to name a few, and she brought down criminals like the Backpage CEO, helped in the ridding of Prop 8, which blocked same-sex marriages. She created an environmental crimes unit. She cleared backlogs of violent crime that had been that way for years before her. And she had overall successes in every position she held while winning overwhelming margins in five elections. Joe Biden is a patriotic American. Joe Biden is a heroic American. Joe Biden is a great American. Joe Biden will go down in American history as one of the most consequential presidents of all time. President Joe Biden has made the selfless decision to pass the torch to Vice President Kamala Harris, who is ready, willing, and able to lead us into the future. And when right-wingers speak on Kamala, you won't hear arguments on the merits, on the policies. It'll just be fabrications of the truth on her character, questioning her experience when her experience dwarfs Trump and J.D. Vance's combined. She dwarfs the other ticket combined by herself. MAGA will call her a DEI VP while she has 10 times the experience that J.D. Vance, who just got picked as the Republican VP, has. It's all nonsense and it's just these kinds of pushbacks that only people of color and 
and women are forced to face in this country. And I, for one, am happy to vote for President Harris come this November. 